All right, welcome back everybody. I'm sorry it's been actually quite a while since we've done anything in race selections because I really have not been doing anything with the truck whatsoever. Um, I put some new suspension stops on the back of it for sled pulling and that kind of stuff in the stack, obviously from the last video, but that's just about it. Um, it's basically been in farm truck mode ever since, but I finally got it cleaned up here the last couple of days. Um, and now we're just gonna leave it and let it sit here for a while. I uh, was driving the car and it's been great. So tonight we're gonna do something totally different. We got a golf cart in here. We're gonna do some sweet stuff to it. So we'll flip it around and show you what we're doing. All right, so my buddy Kyle here, he's actually sitting over here. Uh, he's got this golf cart. It's like a 1995, uh, I forgot what you told me, but it's an easy go medalist, right? Mm -hmm. um, so actually it's in super good shape. There's really, I mean, there's a couple of little, you know, little dings and stuff in the plastic or the fiberglass. But other than that, the seat's almost perfect. Um, obviously there's nothing special right now, but honestly it's in very, very good shape for being, you know, uh, over 20 years old. So. We're gonna lift it, we're gonna put a new rear seat on it, we're gonna do a couple other things. Got some sweet new wheels for it. Um, we'll take a look All at right, those. All right, so we've got a rocks lift kit for this thing. How far is it actually gonna lift it, do you know? I think it's like five. Like five inches up, right? With the actual drop spindles themselves, as well as then some black wheels. Uh, and I think these are 28s, right? Something like that. 23, 23. I'm totally off. 12 23. Inch rim, though. 12 inch rim, it'll be sweet. Uh, as well as some new springs for it. So actually, I'm curious, before we start, um, how high does this thing sit off the ground, right? So right now we'll call it basically about 10 inches to your floor. Um, and I'm hoping, I think we're hoping to be able to get like a foot out of this, right? With the wheels and the tires, yeah. it'd be sweet. All right, so we're gonna start with the back here. And as you can see, the axle sits on top of the leaf springs for right now. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna flip that orientation. So obviously we're gonna get quite a bit of height just by going to the opposite side. Um, but then we're also going to actually add a block in there, about a three or four inch block. Um, so hopefully get about five to six inches by the end of it. More just scared than that. Do that. Do that. Mm. Do you hit yourself in the face? Yeah. Well, that's a first. Yeah, that hurt a lot. Ow. Hey, look, I got it though. All right, so besides the fact that I hit myself in the head with a wrench, this came apart pretty quick. Um, just had to make sure it was supporting the whole body there and take off the, uh, the take out the pins there, holding both ends, um, support the axle, and drop it down. So right now Kyle's taking off the shocks. Uh, and this entire rear axle should be free and we can go ahead and start rebuilding it. All right, so I am totally just following his lead. Essentially, I'm gonna put this plate right in here. And then basically this guy, the leaf spring is gonna sandwich down See this little bolt hole, it's gonna go through this hole here. And then I'm gonna put this plate back on, on top. And then we're gonna sandwich all of this together uh, with four bolts, which are right there. And then obviously when we're done here, then the shock is gonna go through this hole right here in the front. All right, so that's the back install. It's actually super easy, and that's even with us putting in a whole new leaf spring, which actually might have made it easier, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, you can see, so this is the original um, mount here, axle mount. Put the block in here, um, put the leaf spring up, new plate that clamps it all together, um, new bolts obviously, put the old shock back in, put on the hanger, put on the hanger. Now we're just putting on the uh, brake lines themselves, and we gotta put some wheels on it, and the back's done. Yeah, this is gonna be sweet. Do we need to go higher? This is so awesome. Mean muggin. <laughs> Maybe we'll just leave it this way. It's making tracks in the yard, don't worry about it. <laughs> Half done though, looks pretty sweet. All right, so we're half done here, obviously. Gotta put on the front real quick. Might be a little bit more tedious, I'm not really sure, but we actually gotta replace the spindles uh, on this one. So we're gonna flip it around here so we can do it towards the back of the garage where there's more light. It's gonna look 10 times better. All right, so the front shouldn't be that hard either, but it might be a little bit more work. Basically, it comes with new drop spindles, right? So we gotta take out this bolt, remove the tie rod there, um, and take this whole thing apart. And then we actually have to take the hub and all of that um, out of this one and put it onto the new spindle, for obviously for each side, so it won't actually be that bad, but um, still probably a little more work than the back was. All right, so we got the spindle itself out, so now we gotta be able to remove the hub, 
from the spindle because we're going to junk these guys and put new ones on so we got to bust this cover off figure out whatever nut or whatever is inside there get that apart um, pack a new bearing all that kind of stuff put this thing back on new spindle i'll put them back on all right so you got the cap off what is actually inside here Just massive a massive cutter pin with a nut on it yep and then a bearing sweet just like your normal wheel bearing you have never actually done one of those well, you're totally yeah. honest with it yeah it's basically once you get this nasty nut off there it just slides right out of there obviously you got the bearing there so we'll have to kind of repack that a little bit it's probably okay but yeah, just um, re-inspect it when we put it on the new spindle so this guy will be junk we'll reuse this uh, hub we'll put on these much longer spindles uh, and give us another you know four or five inches all right so real quick here's the stock spindle here's the not spot yeah not stock spindle you can see the difference here in the length obviously you got four or five inches extra here where obviously it just comes out straight um, i guess it's actually perpendicular to um, that axis right there so four or five inches of extra and absolutely nothing so that's where all of our lift comes from from the front we're packing in the second bearing right now. We'll throw these back on the thing. Oh my gosh, what a dream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's our lift kit. Um, it's about at 18 inches or so, maybe a little bit shy. Um, so we only got about eight to nine inches of lift out of it, not the uh, kind of 12 that we were kind of hoping slash expecting, but honestly, it still looks pretty sweet. All right guys, so the lift kit is on. It looks really, really good. We're pretty happy with it. So now we are gonna move on here to the actual back seat install. So obviously this comes with whatever storage area for your golf stuff, whatever that is. I don't golf, obviously. Um, so we're gonna replace it with a rear back seat here. That's why we put the bigger leaf springs on as well. Um, so that if you've got two, two guys on the back, it's not gonna squat to the ground, right? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff on. This is a, where did this kit come from, Kyle? Same place, Golf Cart King. Golf cart king is what kind? It's, a, it's mod. a mod split four, right? So it's actually a pretty nice kit. So it's actually gonna match up with all of the uh, OEM material here really, really nicely. It's actually just feeling and playing with the stuff. It actually looks really, really nice and it feels like it's really good quality as well. So it really shouldn't be too bad of a job. It might be actually more tedious than the lift, uh, the lift itself was. So here we go. All right, so we got kind of the big main bracket tree on here. Um, you can see, basically it just bolts on down below. Hopefully you can kind of see that it's kind of getting dark down here. Basically it's got two vertical brackets right here, bolting everything on, um, two new brackets here that hold the back of the main seat, um, that also holds this entire main thing. So basically this will flip over, your main seat cushion sits here, um, your main and then your backrest will sit right here. Um, and you can actually flip this thing over, that way you've basically got this kind of like little bed thing that you can use a little platform for hauling stuff still which is pretty cool so we got to get the rails on and the actual rests on the seats themselves and that kind of stuff we're moving right along all right here we go this thing is looking cooler and cooler so we just got finished putting on the second or the rear seat here. Um, actually, that was kind of a total pain in the butt, but it's a pretty easy kit, but it's just kind of, I don't know, tedious more than anything else and just getting angles right and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but we should be in good shape. Everything looks great. So the last thing we're going to do here is put a windshield on the front and we'll call it a night. All right. So we got ourselves a tinted windshield. I'll bet it's like 50%, literally like on its best day, but uh, that's fine. Um, everything's installed here, guys. We got that on. Obviously, we got the, the lift kit on and we got... Um, our new rear seat on and this whole thing just looks like 10 times cooler than when it came in here like i say we gained like eight to nine inches worth of lift um it's got a little bit of a rake on it going forward but like i say get some fat boys on the back and we'll be doing just fine so honestly guys i think it turned out sweet um it's the middle of town right now so we can't really go out and take it out it's like 9 what time is it 9 30 10 o'clock i'm not even sure um but it turned out really really good guys we're pretty excited about it um hopefully we'll be able to get up some truck pulls if we have truck pulls here later this year and it'll probably be out here with us.